Hello, Monsters Abound here, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms. Almost said Warhammer 3. Three Kingdoms, and part 10 of my Patreon support campaign with Lady Jurong. Hello, le le hello, madam. Nope, oh, she's just been quiet. How about Mulu? There he goes. Right. Oh, now you say something. Last time we had the poll. Should we be friends with Leo Bay and his locust people? Do we have to? This one here. Now, uh, currently, that's not looking too bad. However, the slight issue is they currently own one of the Nanman lands, which we need. However, Welcome, I think it's friend. probably a good idea to peace out with them now. So be it. As the voting suggested, and we can worry about that shenanigans later. So with that, these guys are no longer attacking us. We can push into the Han Empire here. We do have these guys. Uh, this is a duchy of Yan, which is... Is that... I hoped you dead. Gongsun Zan, what the fuck are you start up here? What the fuck are you doing down here, you lunatic? the fuck is going on? Bonkers. I shouldn't be down here. Uh, never mind. Uh, okay, well, now we've pieced out with them, we can now head back and sort of deal with this problem. Uh, we can take more Han territory. To win the campaign, we need to take about another 18 settlements and obviously take that Nan Man territory as well and then maintain those conditions for 20 turns. Um... You know, certainly, certainly very doable. Certainly very doable. So we're going to head into the river over here and we are going to... Now, where is the best place to attack this from? Probably down here, I'd imagine. So we'll sail down here, we'll land like here and then we'll go and take uh, the, the Han territory because, let's face it, it's free real estate. Uh, so we're going to grab that, get some more money, all that kind of good stuff. And then deal with Gong Sun Zan, who apparently has turned up for some reason. Who knows why? He's wandering off again. Um, like, what the fuck's going on here then? I need to find out how the Sun family feel about this because surely they can't be too if it. To fight injustice is the greatest purpose. Uh, I thought it was really war with them, but sure. A rewarding meeting. Thank you. Wait, is. Is Dong Zhao still alive? It's Dong Min, isn't it? I think it's Dong Min. I don't think it's Dong Zhao. Uh, Dong Min, yeah, there we go. Declared war on that. That's fine. All right, we can land. We can land here. Go and hit their little settlements. Hit that one next turn. We can go and potentially grab this one. That's fine. You have retreated. So, I am tempted to sort of like bring you down here. I move you over here, move you over here. Will Mulu is going to come down here. Lady Zhurong is going to go north. Now, at some point, I'm going to need another army here, potentially just to deal with any inevitable backstabbing. Like, I'm fairly sure they won't backstab me, but backstab me? Backstab me. But just in case they do. You know, just on the off chance. Also, we're currently losing money. Uh, but that's fine. I've fiddled about with the court a little bit. We've got loads of tribal members here. Each one of these reduces our corruption by minus 2%. So I thought it's probably better to have that than... Uh, I mean, to be honest, the Nanman seems to have quite a lot number of ways to deal with uh, potential corruption, which is quite nice. So, I mean, we still have 20% corruption, though, in some regions, which isn't ideal. Could upgrade this. How much corruption do we have here? Seven percent. Uh, so actually, this takes it from minus five. So yeah, that will that will help us a little bit. Just a little bit. And over here, we want to upgrade the armament hut so that we get a little bit more income from industry. Now, are we taxing everywhere? Is anyone getting away with being taxed? No. No, so that's fine. So we're making the most money here, second amount, and then fairly close by. This one obviously does have the uh, do you have the spice spice route there, so that's making some money. We also have the the big industry here, so it's not a massive surprise that. Um, what do we need to upgrade that? 
that one. Oh, we should definitely do that then. So three turns, we'll have 20% campaign movement range, which will be very, very useful. Oh, our heir's leveled up. Good for him. What the hell? He has a monocle elephant, which is the best elephant, so he can keep that. And I'm going to give you more health. Not that it really gives you an awful lot more health. I, I do think Three Kingdoms did a lot of things right, but I also think that the, the level up system is, is quite dull. It's been made even worse for the Nan Man, I think, because just leveling up their stats is very sort of unrewarding. Um, which is a real shame. Ugh, for fuck's sake. Minus... Uh, lo loyalty. Okay, we'll just untax them. Oof. Ooh, stinks. Sprout ever upwards to heaven. That stinks. On the it's fine, we can, we can survive a turn like that. Victory. Just about, I think. Just about. For us all. Oh god, you're not moving anywhere, are you? Would be folly. That's it. Get onto the road, for the love of God. Jesus. Okay, well, we can take all that stuff eventually. We're still oh, so much money. Is it where, where, where? Ah, uh, where are we losing? Where aren't we taxing? Wooling over here. It's going down by minus five. We've got minus twenty faction support. Um, I think that's probably probably okay. Do we have anyone who can do happy faces? Oh, hello. Yes. Okay. Do happy faces here. There we go. That way we're only losing seventy three money instead of one thousand something, which was quite. This wasn't, wasn't ideal. <clears throat> this must be more food. I've got 30 food, which means I should be able to... If they if they do the fucking failed Consider harvest on me again. What's this piece on behalf of the Duchy of Yan? Who? Duchy of Song. I don't know who you guys are. Okay. Duchy of Yan is gong... Oh, uh, in that case, yes. We are finished here. Wait, was that you going, peace or there will be war? I'm very confused about what you're doing now. <laughs> A token of our friendship. <laughs> I am <laughs> pleased you see the benefits. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> in kindness and I don't know what's going on. Uh, but it's them declaring war on me. I can't do anything I about that. You see the benefits. The fuck? I would ask this of you. Sure. We are in concert this day. Have a fucking wooden dog. Jesus Christ. What? Okay. Right. 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 Okay, okay. Ah. Uh, oh, wait, what? We're... Really? Who's doing this? Plus 50 diplomatic relations with who? Everyone? Doesn't seem like much of a plot. Uh, right, okay, we're not at war with... Okay, we're not at war with these guys, that's fine. Who are we at war with then? I genuinely don't know. I'm very confused about what's going on right now. Our traditions and people will guide us. Also, why am I losing so much money now? Uh, we can delegate that. Yeah! Our independence continues. Good. It would be prudent to occupy. Like, at this one place. point, we're making a lot of money, and now it's like, no, now you're not making no money. Why? 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 Eight, I mean, army upkeep, maybe. I don't. Genuinely have no idea. Not a fucking clue. 
Uh, I mean, at this point, we're okay for six turns, so that's something, I guess. We're going to go down there and take that. At this point, I might have to disband some units. Uh, could I give you... Do I have the thing which reduces upkeep? That's it. You have that. I'm sorry, you lost your bell, but, you know, needs must. And you can have one as well. Wait, did you get rid of your bell? You did get rid of your... I got two? I do have two, but they're now, they're now equipped, right? Yep, okay. So, right, that's reduced it a little bit. Not much, but it's reduced it a little bit, so that's something. We are taxing everything, so that's good. I just don't quite understand how we've managed to, like, burn our way through so much money. Um, is it... God, we do have a lot of people at court. Is that... Right, who's not doing anything? Right, all of you losers are costing me money. Like, if you're not doing something, you're fired. Basically. Because I can't have you layabouts, just... You don't cost anything, nor do you. You don't cost anything. There's a whole bunch of people that don't cost anything. I don't know why. You're all generals, and you are fairly useful for various things. Okay, well, I guess that's... I've made some cost cutting, and that's a little bit better. I think. Uh, you can maybe do that. You just are good for making... give more food. More food good. I think. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Fucking, we, need, we need to deal with Sun. The Sun. If we, if we kill the Sun family. Right. Kill them. Kill them good. Crush them. And now we're making money again. Hooray! Why? Fuck knows. Literally, fuck knows. Apparently, our army upkeep's gone down by by two k, but I don't know why. Inspired military breakthrough. Great. Good. Right, we've got the lay of the land, which means we have uh, now. If I if we, now we we got more more campaign movement, which is great. Now let's get this because that will give us the ability to upgrade some of our mines and industry. Uh, ah, you are right. Okay, so let's send Mulu over here, and you can come down here. You're going to trespass a little bit, but I don't really care about that. Come here. You. That's it. Right. Attack. And we will delegate that one. Free real estate. Hello. Oh, a battle axe. Well, sorry. Sorry about that. It had to be done. Okay, even more food. Ah, oh, I was really hurting for food for quite some time, but it's definitely got better, hasn't it? It's definitely got better. Can we reach that in one turn? With a decisive Holy shit, yes we can. And we can just order us off it as well, because... I don't see the point in fighting a battle where... Oh, you killed one of my elephants, you motherfucker. Okay, I'm just going to let you go. back to your masters for the tribe. Uh, in fighting a battle where it's just going to be the garrison. It's not that hard. I mean, I, I could have saved my elephant, but it's fine. We can we can live without an elephant for a couple of turns. Replenishment is pretty good. I mean, you can see, we're just taking on quite a lot of territory there. And to be honest, taking, taking the Sun family by surprise, I don't think is going to be particularly difficult. I think we should be fine there. Uh, just checking our... You aren't super happy. So keep an eye on that one. We could upgrade you. Uh, it's not too expensive. It's not really going to give us anything, but it's not too expensive. Hepu, you, oh, you need some stuff, don't you? Uh, in, well, it's not actually going to give you any income. Do you have some commerce income here? 
So let's grab something like that for the moment. That'll give you a little bit of monies. You've leveled up. Give you that. You've leveled up. Give you some of that. Anyone else? Nope, we good. We good. Hello. So I thought we were at peace with you, but no, they declared war again, didn't they? But why you're down here, I don't know. I feel like you've travelled a long way to, to come and have a pop at the old Nan Man. I feel like that's a little bit uh, unwarranted. Hey? Understanding, populist, and dutiful. Mulu is understanding. Good for him. Bloody good for him. Okay, we'll move on you. We'll move on you. And we'll move on you. Because they are throwing ourselves in all directions. Strike with fury. And I mean how many set how many more settlements do we need? That's the wrong button. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted this one. So we're at 35 of 50. So that's not bad. I mean. Captured three settlements in not very much time. We're going to catch another four. We're going to have potentially five. Are you going to come up the mountain here? I reckon you are. So if we if we scooch up here and we little ambush. We don't have our elephants, but to be honest, uh, your army's pretty fucked and shit. You do have some elephants, but it's probably left over from before I got rid of that mod, which let you have all the elephants in the world. That was a bit of a that's it, that's it, that's it. Come up, come up. Average succeeded. Oh, you are in so much fucking trouble. Our men are spotted. Charge! Charge! Get in there, lads. I mean, all we can do is just charge them. That's effectively the only strategy we have. It's uh, just charge in there and batter them. And, and hope that we win. <laughs> It's basically because the Naman warriors don't need to kill very many people. So, um, yeah, mostly just make them run away. And elephants doesn't help that had the mob that made the AI have elephants. That that was a bad move, wasn't it? Mostly because they had more elephants than I did. That was not the best. Still, uh, the good old ambush and charge routine seems to have had the, the desired effect. Take your nobility. And a couple of jewels. Uh, they fairly. Lady Zhurong and Mengho can easily dispatch basically anyone. The enemy general falls. I think Lady Zhurong may be like, go, go, go. almost as scary as Lu Bu. Destroy them. Move on quickly. Some cavalry coming back to the fight. Not for very long, though, because the follows the flame. Fire upon them. Just set everyone on fire. And charges don't seem to be particularly effective against the Nan Man. I don't know why. No I mean, it could be no that they're, the units they're throwing against me at the moment are Where pretty garbage. The enemy unit flees. I mean, God knows what's going to happen if they start sending actually good units against me. Like, the Imperial units. I do not want to consider that. Ah, oh, I love it when a plan comes together. I mean, we won because we ambushed a less strong force. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. A clay warrior? I don't Free need that. The G of the Imperial Guard? I they deserve that. nothing less. Sorry guys, but I really wanted your stuff. You had some good some good stuff and I wanted it, so uh I mean uh, oh spaghettios, I guess. Don't attack me if you've got nice shit on you, because I'll take it off you. A cunning scheme, another one, really. Uh, oh well. I'll be honest. I think I'll, I think I'll survive. Occupy! Oh my shitting god! What the fuck's going on here? 
You having a you having a meeting? What's that? You got Cheng Pu and Sun Ren. Yikes. Look, I'm just passing on through. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. All plans are coming to pass. It will prosper for the better under my rule. Uh, yeah, pay for doctors. Absolutely. I mean, we've got the money, so may as well pay for the doctors. Unleash fury. Okay, we'll grab that one. Victory Nicely done. Oh, look at this. Us. Just rolling over it. That Han Empire. It's having a bad time. Uh, so are you. You're trying to run away, and that's that's a mistake, in my opinion. He, he probably didn't need that shoulder blades. It's fine. Run back to your masters. I don't think he can anymore. I think he might. I think his running days might be over. I think his living days are over, but his running days certainly are over. Okay, how are we doing now? How are we looking? This is this all coming together, isn't it? That's the wrong button. I always press the wrong button. Fuck now. So we got 38 of 50. I mean, that's not too bad. And Leo Bay here. Could we maybe have another question patch with you? What could we do to make that work? 28 food. That is a lot of food. But we could do it for, for 10 turns. I... I Thank think we can do that. I mean, worst case scenario, we can always just break the deal. Because I kind of want to kill you anyway. But just keeping you sweet for the moment while we're sort of like concentrating on mopping up the Han territory. Choose your words wisely. Um, prepare to die? Is that, is that good words? Uh, what I want to know is Let you. Let us speak with clarity and conviction. So, you have Shishi. Right, so I'm going to have to make a note that I, I do need to deal with Shishi if I'm going to declare war on these guys. Um, but otherwise, they have a military alliance with Dong Min, but I'm already at war, so that's not really going to be a major. Maybe, if I, if I mop the Han up, maybe I now send you back down south to deal with Shishi. I'll maybe bring you down as well. We get Mulu. We get these three armies to deal with this. We've got two armies here. They can deal with uh, Shishi. We'll grab this one over here, then grab the island. I mean, that's more territory for us as well, which would be quite nice. Maybe grab this, this, um, what's this? Copper Mike Toolmaker. Grab the Toolmaker first. We do have this. We do have some, some good weapons here now. So let's have a look. What do we have here? What have you got? You've got that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Mulu, your army. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That is okay. Could We probably could do better there. Let's give you an axe. Uh, all you guys are fine. So I just need to, guess we need to check the ladies. Ladies! Right, yeah, you need a better weapon. As soldiers fall... You, I'm going to give a better weapon to. And you... Wait, is that all? Boop. 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 Perfect. Uh, yep. And yep. And do you have anything? No, but unfortunately we've run out of weapons. But um, you are next in line. So, you know, keep, keep an eye out. Got some friends there. That's nice. Nice making for new friends, isn't it? Just kicking the shit out of everyone. Grabbing all that free real estate. There's still a couple of settlements we can grab, which means we'll be under 10 that we need. And then we just need that last Nan Man. I think for the pot... Now, obviously, we're seeing a lot about Immortal Empires come out now, aren't we? Which is very exciting. Really looking forward to that. And... Oh, fuck's sake. Minus 25. So you're, wait, you're using that on Queen Jurong. She's my faction leader. She doesn't have satisfaction. Logistics impeded, logistics impeded, logistics impeded, so on and so forth. Celestial Spear. Oh, fucking logistics fucking impeded. I mean, it's, it's, it's fine. We get 30 from characters anyway. I am charged with the defense of the land. 
Do we have like... Oh, that does that gives us more garrison, doesn't it? Okay, we'll build that one there because it is kind of... Um... Oh shit. Events, minus 20. Prop failure. Yep. Yep, every fucking time. Every fucking time. Okay. So, we have you doing assignments down here, which is fine. We do have uh, one more. So, have we got food anywhere else? Uh, Hepu has food. Does anywhere else have food? You? Oh, now. This, this could be interesting. Um, so, if we... If we do something like this... Um, okay. So we can upgrade you. That helps. The rice paddies... Oh, it doesn't help because that's not actually food. That will help. That will help a little bit as well. We could cancel that deal. It's only one... One turn, but still. Uh, very poor, no food. Oh, very rich. Didn't you declare war on us, though? Speak, Kerr. Yeah. Your very presence repulses Yeah, 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 yeah. How can we help China? I need some. I need some food. If you got, you got three food. That's not enough food. You like us, and you're very rich for food. This will be short. You don't like me that much. You got two food. Oh, you've got twenty-six food. Oh, in that case. Welcome. Come in. What do I need? How much food do I need? Eleven. Uh I'm sure I've got some crap I can give you. How about some the armor? I can't actually use the armor, so have the armor. Um I don't know. You've got some wooden dogs or something? Have some stone piggies. And a jade monkey. Perfect. In fact, can you give me some more food just in case I need it? There we go. As you wish. Have some crap. In exchange, I'll have food. I think that's uh, at a sow sow event. No, that one is a sow sow event. I'm fairly sure that's a sow sow event, unless, unless I just keep getting it, just because I'm unlucky. It doesn't actually tell me, does it? It just sort of like keeps popping up every so often, which is kind of bullshit. So I don't quite know where that's coming from. Uh, the council events that we keep getting are really irritating, and I noticed this with Your the... Hold over us must end. <sighs> I'm, I'm fairly sure that happened because I'm untrustworthy, because I had to declare war on the people that declared war on Shimoka because he's my vassal, because otherwise he would have been liberated anyway. <clears throat> Cunning skin. Uh. Okay. Uh, right, we're going to have to head back to deal with that. Let's go and take this quickly. Uh, I was probably going to cut into my food supplies, From the isn't roots it? To heaven. I don't actually need that, so I'm just going to release they you. Have suffered enough. Food six. Oh, okay, that's fine. We got the six food. Tree survives on its roots. Uh, yes. It's probably true. Maybe. Trust instinct. Can we take Ku Ku Pass? Ku Pass. Uh, we don't want to go all the way around. I can basically land here, Marching. can't I? And then just attack. Sir. Stoke passions and strike. Um. Oh, hello. Zhao Tai is here. Apparently, uh, I still don't think it's worth attack. Like actually, properly attacking it. I'll just not resolve it. We have seized our victory. I could employ you. 
I'm going to employ you. Shall be firm, but fair. Damn right we're firm. Firm and more than a handful. God, that's very expensive to upgrade, so probably not going to do that anytime soon. Never mind. Does it count towards our settlements? Probably. Uh, now, as I was saying, Immortal Empires is coming along, so I think my poll this time is actually going to be something along the lines of... Uh, what faction should we play in Mortal Empires? Because eventually, of, of it, you know, I'm, I'm playing Three Kingdoms at the moment. And to be honest, I'm <sighs> starting to remember why I didn't. I quit my last campaign, and it was because of the constant council missions just hitting me all over the place. Because the AI just kind of deals with you first. I think it because it's got that player bias a little bit. Um, it it just throws everything at you, and so you end up with every single one of your fucking armies having that um this one logistics impeded i've got 60 turns of logistics impeded 60 fucking turns because they keep hitting you with it it's just uh, it's just very very frustrating there's nothing you can do about it either it's completely out of your hands you have no ability to fight back apart from doing it yourself but the yellow turbans and the nan man don't have the council so effectively they can be hit by the council and at the same time they have no way of fighting back i think we do actually i mean i did get i think there's a mod there but it doesn't actually seem to work so never mind i guess um and the, uh, the, the vassal thing is so annoying it's so annoying when your vassal just breaks away uh so i think what i'm gonna do the poll for next time is gonna, I, I, I might play a different game to be honest i might just finish this because, I mean, we basically won. We just need to take some more territory. And it's kind of annoyed me that Shimoka's broken away. I should have seen that coming. I should have just crushed him. I mean, we need, like, what's that, 14 settlements? We've already got a whole bunch. It's, it's kind of like just rolling over the enemy at this point. Um, I would like to know why Gong Sun Zan is all the way down here when he starts up here. And that is his faction. That's his faction. So his faction has made it all the way down here to cut to, to like oh it was he? He was like here, wasn't he? So he's marched all the way down here to then march away again. Which is just weird. Absolutely insane. Absolute bonkers. I have no idea. Um so I think the poll is gonna be like what what faction do we want to play? So which race? And then once we've decided the race, what what actual faction because we're starting to get information about uh where the factions are going to be based all that kind of good stuff so that's very exciting but uh i mean hopefully it won't be long before we start seeing or before we get access to immortal empires so i have i have fingers crossed for that can I maybe make a friends with Nubiao? Our patience is thin. Yeah, but offer to cooperate? Oh, no, I don't want to cooperate. Uh, non aggression pacts. What would you do? Uh, you want all my money. You want money for ten turns. You want food. how much money am I making a turn? One hundred and eighty-four. So you take all my money and then you make me bankrupt. Interesting choice. Um, I'm going to say no. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say no. I think. I think we're gonna stick with the no there. As we move back to deal with Shamoka. I bet you, right? When when she she declared war on him, what happens? He did fuck all. He did. I bet. As, he's just gonna be. He's, he's gonna. He's just gonna make beeline for me. I can see it. He's doing. He's doing. He's up to something. It doesn't look like he's moved his army, so I could be wrong. Okay, we've got where the lands. So that's more money from industry. Nope, he's immediately moving towards me. There we go. Fuck you. F fuck you. Now, I want to... Uh, wherever the paths are. So, if we... I'll tell you what, if we go for this first... Tide hearts are vulnerable to vices. Smush that first. We'll come down here to take this settlement. Uh, so we grab this one. I don't really want. You know what I could do? Yes, yes. Talk. 
Shush. Um, could I give you trade? Oh, we don't have. Oh, we can't trade territory because we don't have methods of unification. Do we really need methods of unification to trade territory? Is that a whole thing? Set sail. All right. March. No, we don't want to declare war on them yet. March at once. Not, not yet, anyway. Who has this? The Duchy of Wudu. Okay, so we'll sort of sit there for a minute. So move down here with you. You're going for that. We'll get advanced metal work so it'll give us more research, uh, no, more industry income and reduce retinue upkeep, which is going to be very useful because we're spending how much? Uh, 16k. 16k on our armies. It's quite quite a chunk of change, isn't it? The garden must be pruned of strangling weeds. Oh, okay. We will both gain from this. Uh, sure. Considered offers produce effortless packs. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean, you you wanker. You like she she was attacking, declared war on you. What did you do? Nothing. You didn't lift a fucking finger. And then as soon as you liberate from me, you're like, okay, well, I guess we'll, I guess we'll get off our big, fat, feathered, hairy ass. You, you motherfucker! I'm gonna, gonna murder you. Uh, I'm gonna starve you out. Can we get another army? Docking. If we can get another army here, then we can easily mop this up. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'll release you. Okay. Well, I guess... We've got a bow. I guess if you don't want to be my vassal uh, to be honest vassals just seem to be a massive waste of time because people just declare war on them and then you have to jump in to it, it just it just doesn't work it's just pointless like having Wutugu up there is legitimately like why bother Delay no longer. Uh, if we scooch along here, what can we see? So that's their capital over there. How long have we got this crop failure for? Oh, really? You know what? I thought that was going to be harder. Okay, I'm just going to continue the siege because once that crop failure... Because that's a level 8 city, so once that crop failure is gone, we should be able to... Uh... Oh, crap! Okay, that's one or two boys. My chow. Uh, that's that's four stacks, four stacks of lads. Lift the peasants. Hello. Four stacks of lads. The people's voice cannot be silenced. I'm just going to release you. I'm going to take the money. I think I might need the money. Destroy corruption. Focus your rage. Uh, yeah. Okay. I guess we'll take this. Justice cannot be denied. Another branch grows and sprouts. Uh, that's a. I don't want to know about any. Look, you enjoy you enjoy killing people, and that's fine. I don't need to know about it. I think we're okay. Like, you can't reach us. You can reach us, but I think we can retreat out of range, so we should be fine, he says. Um, do we take this city now? I think we probably do. We'll have to take a turn of low food. Victory by my hand! But I think I think we're gonna <laughs> This place will serve our needs. I think we're gonna need the help. Downgrade. That's 450. Uh, if we do that, we're only down to minus one food. That's that's fine. Uh, communal farm. Yes, I'll demolish that. I'll dem no, I'll just demolish it. To be honest, don't need it. 
Demolish that. Does it, do we actually get the bonuses for this? Hang on. I mean, it's still... It says... I guess we still... I guess we still maintain what's all, like... We're making food and money here. It's a food trader. So we can convert it to doing food. That's how we got to it. And then, then, we, then we get food. There we go. That's fine. I guess we'll just keep the rest. Like that. That works for me. Who's this? That's... So, like... What the fuck was Sao Sao and... What the fuck were those guys doing? Are you actually... You, 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 you are with us. You are with Undying Vow. Got ob obfuscation. Uh, right, Mulu should be fine. We we should be able to murder these guys if we can pick them off. Rebellion imminent. Oh, fuck. Where? Here. Okay, if we make you tax exempt. That'll cheer you up. It's because faction support. I was just going to wait a little longer, um, but then obviously, you know, Shimoka did his his bullshit. We patiently await your answer. Okay. This portends good omens. Enjoy your little clay warrior. I guess. God, I hate Shimoka so much. Oh, look at all these. Look at all these armies crawling out of the work. Yeah, you're going to attack me. You're going to throw everything at me, aren't you? And I'm just going to be like, nope, Fall no, thank back. you. Like Goodbye. Oh shit. Oh bollocks. Ah, oh, it's really bad. And he's got like four units of elephants. Ah. Oh. Bollocks. Okay, so I had a crash, and also Mulu is well within range of these guys, so I'm going to try and march out of the range and see if that works. Um, I still suspect they might be able to reach him. Oh, I don't think they will, with any luck. I don't think they should be, so I think he might be okay there, but yeah. I, they, they hit me with two armies. And I thought, ah, oh, fuck, we're screwed. I was going to fight the battle anyway. And then the battle crashed. So I took that as... Oh, well. I am pleased for your gratitude. Going to try and jump me? Please don't. Please don't jump me. Leave me alone. Let's sell, sell for some reason. Uh, okay, no, you couldn't. Good. Good. I mean, I'll be honest, I've got enough problems without, without losing one of my armies. Fortunately, we should, I mean, we've got fucking, <laughs> fucking enemy armies all over the fucking place. Uh, I mean, we could maybe actually, like, go for the attack here. I, we're, we're probably in range of... Oh, maybe you're not in range of that. Are you in range of that army? It doesn't say you can reinforce. There's no arrow there. So I would suggest that we probably can. The land call. Mind you, we can night attack anyway, can't we? Peace. We can Peace. night attack. Okay, this is a problem. We do have, I think, a reasonable garrison here. Uh, how do we check? It's that one, isn't it? I mean, it's not great. It's it's something. But yeah, the main issue at the moment is is all the Sun armies. So let's kill you. Is that fell off? The people's voice cannot be silenced. No, indeed. It's certainly not when someone's head comes off. Return them to their kin. Hail the glorious dead. Yes. Minus 10 campaign movement range isn't really going to be helpful. Uh, replenishment is okay, I guess. Uh, 
try and intercept this army with its five elephant? Like, how much fucking money must that be costing? Each elephant is like 200 and... There are 156. These guys are 163. How much do elephants cost me? 352. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Of course. Okay, let's go and attack that. You can go and attack them. We'll split up. Ready for forced march. And crush them. Clean up this. Deal with all that. Deal with this. I'm tempted to go on the attack here. How much movement range is that going to use? 39. Oh, that's still a lot. That's still a lot. That would leave me very vulnerable. Uh, right. If I... If I kill you, Let feasting commence. is it just you? It's just Huang Fu Song. Okay, I'm gonna kill you because you suck. Celebrate what have you got, Kindred Jian? Well, guess what? They're mine now. I don't really want to have to Unleash fury. kill you, but I'm going to have to. Uh, let's sort of resolve that one. We have seized our victory. Uh, release, release, release. Take the money. Let feasting commence. I want to get back in the water. This cannot be. We you are sure? Out. Go on, Gather give it a try. There we go, back in the water. Perfect. Okay, that army's fucked. We do have this army. I'm going to just have to ignore that because I've got bigger problems. I've got bigger fish to fry down here. Nothing will stop us. If we head over here, maybe try and ambush, see if we can get that. Kind of depends how many armies there are meandering around. Ming Ho has leveled up. Uh, let's go Sentinel with you. Oh, so much stuff to upgrade. I do have, I do have fair, fair income. Who the fuck are you? Jiang Yong. A comic storyteller. Like Stan Lee, I guess. Something like that, anyway. Okay, I don't really care about losing that. Oh, don't, don't go away. Uh, I don't really care what you're up to. You're going to take that, which is fine. Not ideal, but generally fine. And you're all taking to the river. But you didn't move north. Uh, you're attacking... Uh, I'm just going to let you take it. Not much you can do against uh, two armies. Kong Rong is now at war with Shimoka, which I guess is fine. Eyes and ears. Less satisfaction. Yep, but that's, again, already going to have logistics. Okay, here we go. Logistics impeded. I, really, I was expecting more logistics impeded, to be honest. Oh, there we go. That's, um, sorry. I, I jumped the gun. Supply stockpile contaminated. Oh, that is going to... Wait, did you use that on your own settlement? Uh, apparently, yes. <laughs> uh, use that in your own fucking settlement, idiot. Okay. Let's... Uh, we're going to need some... Uh, one of you. That's fine, because we don't have any elephants in this army. That's why. At ease. Right, you dick. That's it. Piss off.
If you come back, I'm gonna slap you, stupid. Oh, I'm gonna give you such a ruddy hiding. Okay, can you reach? Oh, we could. Let's just get a little bit closer. Is there anyone here helping her? It doesn't look like it. So get up. Seriously? Si seriously? You can't. How? Have I got, like, negative modifiers or something? So how the f... Be ready to move. Okay, I guess we'll run back here, because apparently I couldn't reach her. Even though I had enough movement to march back here, which I don't... really understand. Be ready to move. I don't quite understand how that works. Uh, we're a little bit down on food. If I downgrade this again, then we lose the food building and therefore end up with less food. Brilliant. That's exactly how I saw that happening. Perfection. What a, what a, what a move. What a fucking move. A lot of people were there going, oh, I don't know how Monster Band is going to get out of this one. And then I pull that move and they're suddenly like, holy shit, what a giant galaxy brain he is. And then and they're not wrong. They're not wrong. They are not wrong. Okay, we should be able to deal with this. This is a minor. We've got a couple of armies hanging around here, so we should be able to deal with this issue. Money-wise, it's not great, and I really could do with more food. Because, again, we've got fucking crop failure. But it's, it never, like, tells me we've got crop failure. It just, like, kicks me in the nuts and goes, yeah, no, you don't have any food now. So what the hell is that? Is that, is that an event? Because I thought events were dark reds. I gen genuinely don't know. I'm, I'm remembering why I cancelled. Well, I, I, well, I say cancelled. I did cancel, but I finished my Yellow Turban campaign. Um, and it was mostly, mostly through sheer exasperation of things like the logistics impeded. Which is just... Just fucking exhausting to deal with. Like, eventually all of you... 21 turns. 56 turns. Eventually all of your armies just end up with logistics impeded. And your settlements start starving and rebelling, and there's nothing you can do about it, and it's just just so fucking irritating. How many how many settlements do we need? We've got 37 to 50. 37 to 50. Hmm. I don't know. I, uh... You're attacking me. It says Perry Victory. Oh, God, I'm just going to walk resolve this, I think. Goods. Goods. What have you got? War Glaive. Mine now. Uh, I'll take the replenishment. Where are you up to? Oh, we don't replenish if we're marching. I forgot. Fuck. Don't replenish when we're marching. It's a weird choice. Weird choice. You just don't replenish if you're marching. Uh, you... Okay, you're fine. For a minute, I was like, oh god, not another enemy army. No, it's... Uh, it's I mean... It's fine. Did you just, like... You're just sailing on by. Interesting. Interesting. Now, you won't have replenished, will you? No. Okay, we can kill you. Our faith was rewarded. I should have fought that battle, but... They have suffered enough. 
We should not waste resources on imprisoning them. Okay, we're just gonna sit here for a minute. Are you replenishing? Yes, excellent. Okay, just replenish for a turn. You're fine. We can take this. Again, maybe I should have fought that, but. And you're just like chilling over here in the corner, are you? Oh, you actually do want to fight. I've been skipping a lot of battles. You know what? There's... Ah, I'm just going to allocate it. Into the water with you. Those who oppose harmony must be crushed. Yes, those jerks. Fuck those guys. I am not without mercy. I'm going to be honest. My mercy is significantly limited at the moment. I'm feeling very not merciful. Right, Cheng Pu's over there. So, let's... Let now, right. Mulu. Can you reach this jerk? Yes. Yes, you can. He has a fuck ton of elephants. But if we kill him, then he'll have less elephants. And... He is also been marching, so he's tired, and it's night, so he'll be sad. It is, however, Marchow, so he does have the Comet Spear. That would be a nice, that'd be a nice spear, wouldn't it? I'd like to have that spear. Let's take that spear. For all of its issues. Total War Three Kingdoms is a very pretty game. You have to give it that. It's a very pretty game. Okay, we've got a couple of uh, duels going on. And with named enemy characters as well. We've got uh, Huang Gai and Ma Chao. Bit of uh, a tricky engagement. Particularly Ma Chao, who is a bit of a beast. We do have, we've brought our elephants in. Our elephants who are going to basically make morale, uh, not morale, uh, fatigue not an issue for us. Now, I believe the fatigue does affect duels. I could be wrong, uh, but I'm pretty sure it does. We're now fresh as a daisy, whereas Ma Chao and Huang Gai are both exhausted, which means they're having trouble. And I've also got no melee evasion and less armor on them. So I'm hoping that that's going to give us the advantage there and let us finish them off. Because if we can pick off the enemy characters, we should be in a fairly good position. However, as I say, they are... They are nasty combatants. I do think I fell into the trap of Three Kingdoms in, in playing the non-Han factions who... I... I do think got left behind somewhat, which is a real shame, but I do think they got left behind. Oh, looks like one guy not doing very well here. Uh, he, he's got fairly good weapon, but his melee evasion is poor. Ours is better, and as such, we're getting... Got the advantage here, I think. He's also exhausted, which doesn't help. Oh, down he goes. This will be over soon. And March Out likewise is is really having some trouble here. His armor's very good, but his melee evasion is very poor. And because he's tired as well. They're sending some tigers in to cause to cause me some problems. But fortunately I don't think it's going to uh, have much effect. And he lost a leg. Does he need a leg? Yeah, maybe. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Got some enemy elephants heading our way. Our general is engaged in a duel. And we're fighting another duel. This one may not be a good idea because uh, Huan Su. Does have he does he's got tenacity of steel, doesn't he? So basically, it's going to make him tougher to deal with as time goes on. 
He's also got good armor, pretty good melee evasion. I think we will struggle here. I, I feel like we should win, but already, Wun Li Nu is, uh, is at a disadvantage. Meanwhile, the rest of our force is now charging in, having taken out two of the enemy generals. <laughs> oh yeah, we're getting our ass kicked. Holy shit! Yeah, we've had to uh, we've had to leg it. We cannot deal with that. That's, that's problematic. But they're two generals down, and we're one general down. So throwing the might of the valley against the mercenary infantry. We do seem to have the upper hand already. We've also got some of these San San Jiang poison spears who don't hatch. I need to get rid of these guys because they don't actually have poison attacks. So they're just worse spearmen, effectively. I don't know if that's a mod thing or whether it's just broken. Who knows? At least we've got the burning attacks on the followers of flame. That's pretty effective against the mercenary infantry. Doesn't matter how much armor you have, if you're on fire. Fight! Engagement in the center here. We're trying to take out Juan Su. There's a lot of elephants in the way to deal with first. Big engagement over here. I do think three kingdoms. Th I mean, don't get me wrong. Total Warhammer, brilliant. But it's... It, it's very... It's like Total War with ADHD. It's... <laughs> it's... It's hard to concentrate on any one thing. Because it's, there's so much going on in Warhammer. Whereas I think the Three Kingdoms managed to get the interplay between missile units, cavalry, and melee units. I think it managed to do that really well. For the most part, I think it managed to do that really well. So we've got a good, long engagement going on here. However, the center has broken, which means we can bring our elephants up and help out against that big blob of units there. On our right flank, so again, we're fighting that mercenary infantry. They're tough to break through, but we are... We're slowly... We're making some damage. You know, we're making some dents in them. We are slowly cutting them down. In comes... In comes uh, Mulu. On his elephant to rampage around, which is great. And our elephants are now coming around onto our left flank. So you can see there's uh, quite a few units sort of embroiled in combat over here. Uh, but no one likes being charged in the rear by an elephant. It's disconcerting to say the least. Ah, Hansu has Sui Sui. That that guy, he's dead. Cuts down by our generals and oh, right into the back of those units. That's all, oh, yep, yeah, morale panic instantly. As you'd expect, being charged in the rear by elephants is going to be. It's going to be pretty awkward. Big morale shock there. They're now desperately trying to uh, pull out of that fight. The emphasis on trying. And as the enemy's right flank collapses, and with all three of their generals cut down, their left flank also follows suit. Let feasting commence. Okay, that worked out quite well. Did we actually manage to... Did we manage to capture anyone? Free the prisoners. No, they did run away, but... Fury we could chase them down. Uh, yeah. It's not a great chance to catch them. But that's one less army they have, at least. Nature guides us to success. Run back to your masters. Okay, I mean that that was that was good. Succeeded. Let's get some of those. 
Uh, I'd like it if you could make it back to your own territory, but you're not going to be able to. This army is a little bit beaten up. But can we take on Sun Ren? It seems like a fairly good shot. Oh, but you'll come in as reinforcements. So I don't think we can. We can't take on both of those at the same time. So, well, we got a, we got a bunch of nice stuff. We've got some rebellions imminent, Im imminent, Im imminent. There we go. Got rebellion here, imminent. Uh, again, not well. I could untax them. That's not really gonna. Well. It, they won't rebel. So that's good. And Hepu is also going to rebel. On the other hand, if it does rebel, it, it's going to rebel with an army nearby. Uh, we can quickly crush that. Smush it good. Oh, God. This, this crop failure is just kicking my ass. It's like, it just may as well be 20 food down all the time. And 20 income, 20% 20 income down. Most of our settlements will be able to survive for three turns. Can we survive for three turns? Well. Uh, it's going to give us more money, but more military supplies, which I'm going to be honest... Not really that useful. This is going to give us more money. So we'll just, we'll just grab the money. Six turns. Uh, we've got... We, we got we got money. We got money. So let's go to diplomacy. Can we do anything? Can, can we... Speak, Purr. Your very presence repulses me. Can we not chill the fuck out, mate? Can we not chill the fuck out? Can can we not... Okay, King Wutugu. Do, you do have more food. So could I... Excellent. Talk. Uh, no, because I've already got. Should have gone for more food. And you're the only person that's going to trade with me, apart from maybe Kong Rong. But no, you're at war with me, so no. What about you guys? You're very poor food. Our patience is thin. You could give me three food. Agreeable terms. I mean, not really. Who goes first? You have zero food. Okay, minus four is not as bad. Uh, could we assignments? Assignments. We need someone. You're already on assignment here. I could send you to do an assignment here. That would increase the amount of food. Might be enough. Might be enough to fix the problem. Potentially. Maybe. Who knows? This. That's not food. All right. So we've got a rebellion there, but that's fine. We can deal with that. We can crush that. There's so many fucking enemy armies just hanging about. And Sao Sao's down here for some reason. Has, has he got has he literally got nothing better to do? Has he literally got nothing better to do? This will please you as it has us. You know what, Wusugu? No, fuck off. Fuck off. We expected gratitude. I don't know why. At least we're not at war with him, but it's broken our vassalage. To be honest, 
Vassalizing was a terrible fucking idea. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck is going on here? One, two, three, four. We're under siege as well. Um, Jesus. And then there's two. Where the f. Sal Sal? What poisonous lies will you spit today? Oh, so, like, you vassalized the shit out of everyone. So that's why. Because all this, I imagine. So that's the edge of your territory there. These guys, that's Lubiao, who you get on with. So basically, everyone in China gets on with each other. <laughs> And they all hate me, which is why they're, they're coming down to kill me. Um, <sighs> further away from the finish line than I was at the start of the episode. Um, okay, I... Fuck me, I guess... I guess the poll for next time is, do I continue this? Because I'm being hammered by the council missions on all sides, which is kind of a bastard. Um, I'm at war with literally everyone, and the rest of China loves each other and hates me. So it's it's literally a matter of time before these guys declare war on me, in my opinion. Particularly because my trustworthiness is now so low, because I had to cut Wutugu loose. So... I, I don't know. I, I suspect it's just going to be me collapsing like a slow flan and then maybe managing to push them back. But I genuinely don't know how long it's going to take. So, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Vote, I guess. See, do, do you want me to continue this? Or should we do something a little bit different? And then I'm also going to put another poll up, which is uh, which race should we play in Immortal Empires when I finally get my sticky little paws on it. That's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you maybe in the next episode.